wondering what is a cinnamon ball ball or you might have heard it as a cinnamon ball. A cinnamon ball is a biscuit that we eat over Passover. How would you describe it? I think they're lovely little sweet meats that you have with your coffee, something soft and moist. Marcy um, pan -ish. Yes, very nice. And do not, please, please, please do not buy shop Oh, you taste vile, but ours are superb because these literally take a few minutes to make. So, should we get cooking? We're going to whisk two large egg whites. The egg whites are now whisked. And what else do we need, Tracy? Some ground almonds and some caster sugar and some beautiful kosher wine. That's really what makes our cinnamon baubles stand out from the crowd. That little bit of kosher wine, it gives it that sweetness. Makes it a bit moist. A dessert spoon of cinnamon. Be generous with the cinnamon. After all, it is a cinnamon bauble. You can see this literally look, comes together so quickly. Exactly, seconds to make a biscuit. You get a teaspoon of the mixture and with wetted hands, because we need a little bowl with some water, we mould them into little balls and place on some baking parchment. Can we see how quickly we can do these? I think we did a very good job there. The baubles are okay, ready. Perfect. Preheated oven, 170. Pop it in. This is a simple invest in one. In fact, invest in two, otherwise you will forget the time. 12 minutes. Remove from the oven and leave to cool. Apparently, Tracy has a quick way of covering our cinnamon baubles with icing sugar, so show me, I'm intrigued. Oh wow, well here we go, Jill. Let's watch it. You're full of little tricks. Tricks of the kitchen. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Okay, so we've got our bag of ice and sugar. We really, this is the best way and the easiest way to give your cinnamon baubles that gorgeous snow glow. Mmm, wow. Is everyone getting ready for Pesach? Are we all enjoying Pesach? I mean, this is what Passover is all about. This is the iconic biscuit, the cinnamon bauble. No other time of the year do we Hullish want a biscuit like we do at Passover. And the best way to keep these is if there's any left in an airtight container, otherwise they'll get hard. Absolutely. absolutely, and the difference is between these and shop bought is they will actually stay a lot softer, a lot longer. Tea I is ready, let's go and have a taste. Why wait for Passover? Let's just tuck in and have one of these with a cup of tea. Yeah. I think I might have two actually. A little bit of cinnamon bauble, so ready? <gasps> Enjoy. <laughs> Sniff. Oh, they're still warm. You know what? The icing sugar just puffed up. I hope I haven't got it on my nose. Slightly warm. I can feel the infusion of the wine. This delicious bauble is a true taste of Pesach. It's what it's all about. Right. Cheers, <laughs> the Till we eat again. Goodbye from Jewish Princess Cooks. <laughs>